Hello YouTube. All right, I finally got myself a Bluetooth controller. I got myself an 8-bit Do SF30 Pro uh, Bluetooth gamepad. Comes with some very nice packaging. And open it up. It's got a nice little cover here. And so here's the gamepad. It's basically a Super Nintendo uh, controller, a Super Famicom, I guess. And it has some analog controllers, which obviously weren't part of the originals. It also has some triggers along with the uh, shoulder pads. So that is also very convenient. And it also comes with a uh, manual and it comes with a USB-C cable to charge. So we're going to charge it up first to make sure it's got a full charge. And we're going to update the firmware on it before we uh, sync it with our Bluetooth on the RetroPie. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's get this all charged up and update the firmware. In order to update the firmware on your 8BitDo controller, you go to support.8bitdo.com. And in my case, I've got the SFC30 Pro, and it's currently at version 1.23, and the update log shows a bit more details on the updates. And so we'll download that, save the file, open that up, extract here, Then we'll open up the executable, click yes. All right, so we'll follow the directions. Hold down the left, right and start in that order. So it looks like it's flashing at the top, so that's good. And then we'll connect the USB-C cable into our controller. All right, so it's not grayed out, so we can Click on that now, USB update, and we'll click on the 1.23 dot, click open, and I've already updated it, but we'll update it again for kicks and giggles. But if you're on an older version, it'll show you if you're on an older version as well, so that way you can know if you need to update, and it will take a bit of time to update. firmware has been upgraded. Click OK and then the next step is to connect it to our Raspberry Pi for RetroPie. And we can disconnect that. So you see it's flashing on the bottom which uh, means it's all connected so that's it's all updated. Right, so here we are in RetroPie. Go into the Bluetooth menu this can also be accessed from the RetroPie setup script under the configuration tools. So we're going to register and connect to a Bluetooth device. So first we're going to take our 8-bit do gamepad and we're going to hold down the start button to turn it on. So it looks like it's flashing there. So on the top here we've got a pairing button. So hold that down. I think the flashing is where it's searching for uh, something to pair with. So we will click register. So it's searching. Right, so the Pro Controller, that's the one we are using. So that's good news. So we'll select that one. And then security mode. Uh, try the first one, why not? Alright, registered and connected. And then it says to set up the UDEV rule for the joypad for uh, 8 bit do. So we will set that up now that it's been registered. So the Pro Controller is the one we just configured, so we'll pick that. And then we're going to reboot in order for it to take effect. So we will click cancel. And then we will reboot. And obviously I'm using a keyboard because if the controller is not configured you can't navigate without it. So.
right. So we are going to open up into the controller settings, our uh, configuration input. Yes. We will turn our gamepad on again. See if it remembers it. All right, so it's detected. Now it's got a single light on the bottom. Hold that down, Pro Controller. D-pad up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, right thumb, left analog, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, and then my hotkey enable will just be select, and then select OK. And we are in business. All right, fantastic. So now your controller should work and you can get gaming.